the the distinction between Monroe and perhaps other companies is is not the breadth of the data or the magnitude of the company for that matter. It's much it's something uh, much more tacit, hard to pin down, which is like the culture of the people, the the lean design methodology that Sandy Monroe ultimately started and and the process, right? It, it's a culture. And, and to me, that's one of the things that, you know, certainly we we bring to the sort of Detroit centric automotive space or global automotive space. But I mean, as yeah. a former customer, um, I witnessed that um, we had great engineers, many great engineers, they had great ideas, but their outside in perspective always gets you significant additional value and you're kind of your old scheme within your team. And when some fresh people come in from the outside, um, they, the local engineers don't have to be, um, feel addressed or attacked uh, by these folks, but they, it's just the other perspective which helps both together to come up with better ideas, new ideas. And that was of tremendous uh, value for us at uh, Monroe and our own engineers um, were um, highly um, appreciating this external impact which we got. Right, yeah, no, totally agree. And, and it's, a, it's a very difficult thing, I think, as you started to point out, right, going to engineers, um, that that are responsible for those designs coming up with new ideas, but but not coming off in a way that we're saying that their design is, is poorly designed, but but bringing it to them in a way that um, it becomes their idea ultimately. I define that as success in the engagement. Absolutely. Ultimately, it's a team effort and success, and that's the way uh, it should be perceived by the engineers of the OEM as well, and the way uh, Monroe presents itself, makes it easier for them.